all of you in your respective places. Y'all gotta give it up for this band over here. Y'all, 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 y'all. I love the atmosphere I feel in here, the presence in here. And y'all, listen, y'all got to clap your hands for these young people. Wow. Y'all can do a little bit better than that now. It's Saturday. The greatest motivation they could ever have is from us. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if we don't motivate them, the world will. Oh, my. Amen, but I'm just so glad. I'm thank God for my husband, amen, amen. Apostle Keith Robinson. I clap your hands for my baby now. Amen, amen to the white moment and family. Y'all clap your hands. They coming, y'all. They coming. Amen. We honor them. We honor them in the Lord. Amen. I'm just glad to be here, y'all. Amen. Minister Devin. Yeah. Uh huh. You know when I get that phone call from him, I know I know something up. <laughs> And he tells me what he wants done. Y'all done heard that before? Say, all right, this is what I want you to do. Okay, all right, thank you, bye. All right, but listen, I, you don't mind, let's do, I, I want to do some medleys, okay, of the old school. Is that all right, y'all? Can y'all help me out, though? Y'all sure? Amen, because I know there's a great atmosphere and so, so much audience participation. So I'm going to get a couple of these melodies out here. I'm going to get out your way. Is that okay? One song that I can sing, and I, I know some of you are familiar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out if you are. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Come on, I know you know this. Oh, where would I be? Yeah. Okay. 
Now you ought to tell him what he done for you just today. Come on, tell that neighbor, tell him something. Matter of fact, you ought to talk about two or three things and let him know this is what God done for me. And while you're doing that, you ought to give God a praise because you still here. Come on, praise him because you still here. Because God is still doing great things. This is awesome. Yeah, this is bad. Amen. Because God is doing great things in this season, we have a reason to ask him for more. Amen. Hallelujah. As the kingdom of God, we have a right to the tree of life. We have a right to the kingdom. We have kingdom access. Somebody say kingdom access. So when it's like that, you say, Lord, what the hell? You're doing in the season. Please don't do it without me. Come on, let's those hands. Don't do it without me. I'll come with y'all.
Let me tell you something. Even if it ain't, even if you're not in a place to respond, and at least respond for the person that, that does need God right now. You never know what the person sitting next to you are in a place where they just need God to come and answer their call. So when I say just stay for a moment and just worship the Lord, I'm not just saying that because it's me. I'm saying it because we honor God. I'm saying it because God deserves our praise. I'm saying that because God's been so good to us. So can you do something for a moment? Can this praise not just be about you? But can this worship and praise you give right now be about the person you're standing next to? Can this praise that we're about to give, give God for the next 60 seconds, can it be about the person that you're sitting next to? Can you just lift your hands? Looking towards heaven, can you give God a worship of praise that's out of your heart? I want to see a couple of people. I see a couple of people understand where I'm coming from. I see some worshipers over here. But can you just give God a praise? Come on, praise Him. Praise Him out of your heart. Praise Him out of your soul. Where the praise actually go. You know we are singing hallelujah, God. 